In the ever so vibrant cultural milieu of Bahrain, here is a new organization making a wave, helping to unleash the power of art in their community and beyond. The Filipino Creatives Bahrain on this episode of the Story Loom from the 973 show. Let's hear this story. Good evening and welcome to the show. So we have with us Lance, Sarah and Gia. Uh, they're just three members representing a larger vibrant community, um, almost 25 of them, but they are the voices tonight who will take us through what they do in the country. So I would like to begin uh, hearing from you, like tell us more about this group. Um, I'm sure it's very popular in your community and slowly, the other communities are also making a note of it. Can you tell us how did it all start and what are you all doing? Would you like to go with it, Lance? Hello, yeah. everyone. So we are the Filipino Creatives Bahrain, and we were founded back in the year 2018 mm -hmm. um, through the effort of our dear ambassador, our then ambassador, um, Alfonso, Alfonso Ver. Ver. Yes. Yeah. So we come up with an all Filipino artist and uh, we successfully held our first art exhibit on September 2018 as well. Okay. It was a huge success because we were able to gather a lot of Filipino artists in the kingdom and we come up with more than 200 artworks mm -hmm. during that exhibit. So Filipino Creatives Bahrain is not only for uh, those who are already into art, but also for the budding artists and okay. those who are aiming to develop more their skills in the field of art. Interesting. I very fondly remember um, Alfonso, uh, His Ver. Excellency Alfonso Ver. He has been a very uh, cooperative uh, ambassador, a diplomat who is present everywhere. Um, supporting the community yes. in all way and I'm glad. So it's almost six years since the organization has been yes. set up. So all of you are artists, I believe. Yes. So what do you do, Sarah? What kind of art do you do? Hello, hi, good evening. And uh, I, I do uh, abstract paintings oh. and uh, I'm using the medium, um, kind of mixed media. I do oil, I do acrylic, and but mostly on the abstract, I use the acrylic uh, sometimes uh, a mixed medium. Okay. But right now, I'm more involved on on the uh, coffee painting mm. because it's a. I know it's a traditional art, but I. But feel I think that's gaining more popularity. Yeah, isn't actually, it? um, it's a traditional art, but it's slowly dying in the ah, okay. field of the arts. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, I'm just, yeah, I'm just one of the advocates also to trying to make it alive again, uh, especially here in the kingdom of Bahrain. Bahrain. I think there mm -hmm. are just few artists doing that uh, kind of medium. But um, that's it. And uh, yeah, it's coffee painting. It's a little bit... Uh, it's a, a traditional yeah. and a mix art. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yes, interesting. And Jia, what about you? What is your expertise or...? So most of my paintings, uh, actually it's two kinds. I am also involved in abstract and also in portraiture. So for abstract, most of my paints, uh, I use acrylic. Just recently, I also tried to use gouache okay. because I am like more of an adventurous kind of artist. Mm -hmm. Like I, I am so curious in using most of the mediums that mm -hmm. I am not aware of, but the comfort mediums I use are acrylic, oil, and graphite. Okay. So here, for example, I'm making portraiture. I technically like most of the people I I make are my family. Okay. So they <laughs> they inspire me. All right. And also for, I, I somehow mix the abstract and portraiture together. But most of my pieces are about nature. Okay. So it inspires me as well. Interesting. I wish uh, more of your members were here, we would have heard. Yes. And what about you, Lance? What is your speciality? So I usually use uh, acrylic paint to do my artwork. And... Um, before, I really loved nature as my subject. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as you develop your skills and as you explore more and discover more, um, 
Right now, I'm experimenting using acrylic paint combined with uh, acrylic markers or pens. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, the recent works I have, um, I was able to do four seascape series. Okay. So these are um, artworks made from acrylic paint and acrylic markers they are entitled um, the first one was perlas it's um, yes it's focusing on the centerpiece which is a pearl mm -hmm. which represents our country known as the pearl of the orient seas yeah <laughs> and the second one is uh, entitled rainforest of the sea it's a mixture of colorful uh, creatures colorful um um, the plant, seascape. plant, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, some sort of uh, plant-like um, things sea. under the sea. Yeah, yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, the third one is very interesting. It's called kapagangan, okay. which is actually a Filipino term for the reef. Okay. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And um, it's exciting to see because at first I was supposed to do the acrylic uh, fluid art, mm -hmm. the pouring art, but it went failed okay. <laughs> it failed <laughs> then instead of throwing the canvas i recycled it so i painted over it okay. the um, yeah the pictures under the sea and it turned out to and magic. it turned out <laughs> even more interesting <laughs> because there's yeah. a texture <laughs> under the drawing and um the last one the recent i had finished is entitled um, serenity under the sea which is a mixture of the drawing like the plant like things and then with the um, fishes turtle and of course um the sea sea section or like the cut of the, of the sea, sea. Yes, and yeah. you see the upper part with the, the island yeah, yeah and mm -hmm. the clouds and the sky so i made this uh using acrylic paint and acrylic uh, markers with the subject before i really love nature and uh, sometimes i do also abstract painting it depends on the mood sometimes and sometimes on the inspiration you see oh i like this and i have i want to do this mm -hmm. okay. um i just want to add because in filipino creatives we are like like mixtures of uh, professionals with different professions apart from art. Mm -hmm. Not all of us are really art major or graduate of art related courses. Mm -hmm. We are like a uh, diverse group of people, mm -hmm. but we became united because of because the of passion art. of yeah. Uh, in art, art, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's beautiful. And Lance, did you also notice that the country that you live in is, has, is also closely associated with mm -hmm. the seascape, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The pearl or the reefs, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, to be honest, the reason why I, I was inspired with a seascape last summer during our off break from the school, it's because um, we are living here in Bahrain right now. And Bahrain is not that different from the Philippines because mm -hmm. they are both archipelago. Mm -hmm. They are both surrounded by waters. Water. Mm -hmm. And of course, when, it's, uh, when it comes to the history like pearl diving or pearl mm -hmm. resources, mm -hmm. we also have like that and also coral reefs. So um, I think uh, it- All o these feelings should have together contributed. Yes, yes. So it? it connects Bahrain and Philippines at the same time. And we are so blessed and grateful to Bahrain, you know, Indeed. the Bahrainis Indeed. and Bahrain, the kingdom of Bahrain itself. Because mm. here we were able to nurture our talents, appreciate the culture, the tradition of the people here and the country itself. It has a lot of things to offer to us to inspire us and um, it's not only Filipinos actually who are thriving here in I, terms of art. I was about art. to say that because every expatriate echoes the same viewpoints because of yeah. the, the benevolence that the leadership offers or the warmth of the country yes. and the people, isn't it? Yes, like um, we are, we'll, we seem like different in many ways, but or rather yet we are the same, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> so we are intertwined in terms of many different things, cultures, right. traditions, yeah. beliefs, and very rich um, art right. um, yeah. aspect in, the, in this kingdom. Right. Sarah, would you like to add? Yeah. yeah. I'm grateful of being a member, or I'm one of the core member of Pilk uh, Creatives, but um, uh, one of the reasons that I'm grateful for, for it is that um, 
uh, we were able to unleash, you know, the the, the talent that we've been hiding. Sometimes yeah. we even we even discover that, oh, I I didn't know that we can do this. Do this, you know? yeah. Like for example, the, uh, I joined for the film, uh, the this one, uh, the short film. Mm-hmm. I participated on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a film actually. I need to. I, I'm just using a, a camera. Mm-hmm. A camera and, and and I'm competing with a professional uh, artist uh, or an actor, art, yes. yeah, fil- film artist in Bahrain. So that was uh, quite uh, uh, adventurous and challenging on, on my part. And at the same time, I was able to you know challenge myself to do this fabric painting. Mm-hmm. It's really you know I'm using um, a kind of a a net fabric, and then I'm using an iron as a tool to. You know, to manipulate to form, mm-hmm. to form. Yeah, okay. it is nice so that's one one of the reason actually also that you know I'm so glad that I was able to join the group and so glad to meet my family because they keep pushing us do something this or <laughs> do that who can do this and do that do that something okay so why, yeah. why should I, I mean why, why uh, I should I uh, try this one so that you know maybe I could do something for myself uh, yeah. for us and yeah. That's that's yeah, beautiful. Right. That's when you, that's that's a magic which groups bring in when a team of like-minded yes. people bring in. Welcome to Sri Sokya Ayurvedic Center where ancient healing meets modern wellness. Located in the heart of Mahus, our center offers a wide range of authentic Ayurvedic treatments. Our team of experts is dedicated to providing you with the highest quality care using only the best natural and organic products. When I started, uh, when I joined Filipino Creatives, there was actually a story behind it. Mm -hmm. Because there was a point in my life, I stopped painting. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, it's dramatic part of me. So that time, I cannot find like an inspiration to paint or to make art again. Mm -hmm. It's like um, I focus myself to the drive of life, Mm -hmm. like adulting in my face. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then there was one time, I'm very thankful of one of our founder, Miss Kathy. He is one of the core member, the one who started our group. Mm-hmm. She already, um, the story is like, she already invited me like a year before I actually joined because that year I wasn't ready yet. And then when, it, when the next invitation come, I just said to myself, let me just go with it. Mm-hmm. And then there was one part in our um application why do you want to join Filipino Creatives mm-hmm. Bahrain and my reason is to like bring out the the artist in me again and successfully here here I am okay so when I had uh, when I joined them like it was less than a month and then right away we had the exhibit in Jufair Square mm-hmm. and that time it's not only like um what I discovered in this group, it's not only an art group, it's also a family. Mm, okay. You will find out more of yourself because the people will see you. They are going to mirror who you are. They are not just going to tell you, you're just here. This is only your medium. No, they're going to push you. They're mm. going to let you grow by yourself. Okay. There's no jealousy. There's no, there's, there's no, what you call that? Mm-hmm. They just let us grow. And they're very happy when we become successful in whatever field we're nurturing, especially in arts. That's nice. That's so, interesting. Yeah. That's, that's, I think that is the pivotal thing that every group, such group should have mm-hmm. to encourage each other, to help we, each other grow. I want to share one thing. Um, when we say positivity. So we started 2018, right? Mm-hmm. Two years after that, we had pandemic. The pandemic, yeah. So we had our first major art exhibit in 2018. Then 2019, we did it again. So then pandemic came. It didn't stop 
Filipino creatives Bahrain. Mm -hmm. We still had our art exhibit. We had it at the Harbor Gate, even though we know that no people can come because of the pandemic. But uh, still, we were able to come up with the art, with the exhibition. Mm -hmm. And um, this is one thing that um, we want to spread the awareness that in spite, despite of what we are having, the calamity, the, mm -hmm. um, yes, the dilemma that we are having, still Filipino Creatives Bahrain was able to inspire people through the art, mm -hmm. was able to spread awareness that we should have something to deviate our attention mm. rather than focusing on what Only is the, on problem, the, the problem, make yeah. it as an inspiration to um, spread positivity to others. So uh, that's really one thing admirable about the Indeed. Filipino creative Bahrain. Uh, tell me, how can one be a member of Filipino uh, creative mm -hmm. Bahrain? Uh, is it limited to the Filipinos? Right now, we are uh, limiting it to the Filipinos as our members. Um, they can send an email to um, the email ad of Filipino Creatives Bahrain, which can be find, which which can be found in our Instagram, mm -hmm. the Filipino Creatives Filipino Bahrain, Creatives Bahrain yeah. our Facebook page as well, Filipino Creatives Bahrain, <laughs> and um, even if we are all Filipino artists, we don't limit our activities to the Filipinos only. Mm -hmm. In fact, we are having an upcoming activity which will involve Bahraini artists right. and Filipinos because it will be a um, to celebrate the relationship between the two countries. Mm -hmm. So we cannot really announce right now the okay. details fully because uh, we are still uh, trying to form, put it together. Put yeah. it together, yes. Mm -hmm. But um, in our recent activities, we have South e Southeast Asian countries and artists. Um, we brought all together Southeast mm -hmm. Asian countries from Nepal, Indonesia. Ch uh, we have one China, yeah? China. Yes. Okay. Uh, Thailand. So before that, we also have ba cross, current, yes. cross current, which involves not only Bahraini and Filipinos, yeah. but international yeah. artists who are based in the in Bahrain. kingdom oh, yeah. of Bahrain. Yes. Interesting. And these are not only um, like um, budding artists. Mm -hmm. Some of them are renowned yeah, artists renowned already. Artists. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Right. Um, I can see that there are lots of activities happening yeah. uh, inside the community, the Filipinos Creative Bharat. And my next um, thought which I would like to share with you is, art is a very important medium which you just now said keeps people bound together and a lot of positivity as such. Um, Sarah, would you like to take us through your experience of positivity and how do you see the whole group uh, bridging this uh, community together through positivity gathering is the challenge first is the challenges of gathering I mean, uh, artists that with various or different uh, uh, professions, professions yeah. that's, that's one of the challenges of, but the passivity, uh, positivity of it is that um, uh, or the outcome of that is that when we gather them together, together mm -hmm. uh, um, at the end of the, you know, the day or at the end of the uh, session, e session mm -hmm. the events, you know, the, the, um, uh, the feedback, mm -hmm. the feedback from those, uh, uh, those people that we invite, we uh, are, you know, uh, it, the, the positive feedback is so much, uh, uh, I'm very much uh, uh, grateful of because mm -hmm. um despite of that actually we have a lot of challenges in preparation for the events because we are the one who's doing all the the arrangement of the events we're not hiring from the outside uh, we are we are laying out we are planning mm -hmm. and, and we are we are we are the manpower <laughs> actually yeah. doing that so the appreciation of each artist the appreciation of the guest artist especially um uh, coming from our uh, ambassador, it's really, really any uh, that gives us um, uh, uh, gives me more motivation for that. Great. Right. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Sarah. The positivity of art in me is that art allows me, or art becomes my escape, whenever I ha I'm having like um, a problem or whenever I want to express myself 
art is a kind of escape. Mm-hmm. That becomes like um, that transitions sadness to positivity. Mm-hmm. And what this Filipino creatives Bahrain have to do with the positive side of my life, as what Miss Sarah mentioned earlier, we also have some kind of camaraderie whenever mm-hmm. we're doing events. We have uh, different. What you call that one? We have promotion committee. Uh-huh. We have people who are handling foods, who are handling advertisements, people who are assigned in layout. We do all of that. We do not hire other people. And during that uh, process, it is actually hard, to be honest, especially when we have due dates. And uh-huh. most of the time, we have to do it out of the camera, like the night before the main event. Uh-huh. And it will keep us all awake. So it's like seriously... Um, what you call this one. It's like an advocation mm. for what we do in this field. So whenever we do this, we just motivate each other because we only have each other's back. We do yeah. not have... Mm. Yeah. So yeah. during that process, we just spread positivity. And the fact that we are a non, 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 non-profit profit organization. So we only depend on our... The, what do you call this for? The members... Contributions. Contribution. Yeah, okay. And you know, actually contribution of the... What you call this? The annual fee. Uh, the annual fee. So all whatever we gather, that's only what we run for it. Okay. And because since we are under the patronage of the embassy, we're not allowed to... Uh, uh, just uh, run without the uh, okay. Under yeah, the, I understand. Using the mm-hmm. 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 right. So the thing is that we're only um, we're only limited to what we have among our members. So the challenge is there is we uh, as an artist also we 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 have to come up as mm. a uh, what you call this from our capacity of just to do, uh, to be able the to, um, to make the event success. For that. Right. Yeah. So talking about positivity, uh, Filipino creatives, as what Miss Sarah said, it's a non-profit organization and it's under the umbrella of the Philippine Embassy. Embassy. Right now, we mentioned uh, her, His Excellency Ambassador Ver. Ambassador. Now I would like to acknowledge yeah. also our uh, current Ambassador, Her Excellency Ambassador Anne um, Halanduon Luis. So we would like to thank her as well for her um, uh, for extending their help for us and they are very supportive Mm -hmm. and um, every time that we have uh, an activity they're always there to support us and give us their hand actually um, we are housing our artworks right now at the central rizal art gallery inside the philippine embassy we have one building allotted for us so less than 100 but uh, we have lots of artworks most of our artworks actually are there so um, it's a chance for us to have a permanent house for our artworks Uh (laughs) a gallery and um, it's usually visited by dignitaries or diplomats from the philippines when they visit our embassy here in the kingdom of bahrain so thank you for bahrain and thank you for the philippine embassy for every support that they are giving us um, it's it's nice to see this the vibrance with which the Filipino creatives Bahrain is functioning, and I can see the passion in all three of you, the commitment towards. I I'm sure the rest of the members are also mm-hmm. here, and I think um, the art itself is something like that, right? It's a medium that does the magic. So all of you do the art called painting, right? Yes. Uh, no other art. We are yeah, talking only of. So in our group, we also have artists who are doing installation, okay. sculpture as well. Installation, we have Sir Butch Pahe and also Sir for Sir Chris as well. Uh, almost all of the medium in our group are present. Mm-hmm. So our president, Mr. Jire Fuyo, he's actually very good in charcoal. And his, um, his medium or his field is hyper-realism. Mm-hmm. I hope that you're going to see his arts because even us artists, we are really admiring him. Mm-hmm. So, it's actually like um, a photo, but mm-hmm. made by graphite or charcoal. Okay. So by this, we are also inspired. Even we are artists of our own, mm-hmm. we are being inspired by our, by our own members. And what is also interesting is that we have our president, Mr. G, as he as she mentioned, 
and you know the kids of Mr. G are also members of our group and they are also doing an amazing artwork so uh, it's literally family oriented okay. group <laughs> and and yes and we are connected not only from our group within but we are connected to other groups outside the community as well to other filipino communities as well right. so Thank you, Lance, Sarah, and Jaya for taking us through the journey of Filipino Creators Bahrain and taking us into your world of art. That's a beautiful world. Uh, we are so happy to have been there visiting and we look forward to visiting you in person at your next exhibition. So wishing you all the very best and a hello to all the other members of Filipino Creators Bahrain. Well, the true magic of art lies in binding people together, bringing people together. And that's exactly the definition of Filipino Creatives Bahrain. Do follow them on their social media account, Filipino Creatives Bahrain, on Instagram and Facebook. This is Raji Unikrishnan signing off for the 973 show.